At the turn of the 20th century, something invisible was about to change the world, and it began with a stubborn problem no one could solve. In a small workshop in Yonkers, New York, the air smelled of heat, chemicals, and ambition. The year was 1907. Electricity was spreading through cities, telephones were creeping into homes, and industry was hungry for a new kind of material, something that wouldn't crack, burn, or fail under pressure. Nature had limits. Shellac warped, rubber softened, wood burned, and metal conducted electricity when it shouldn't. One man believed the answer didn't exist in nature at all. Leo Bakelin was a chemist who didn't chase inspiration in flashes of lightning. He chased it in pressure, patience, and relentless trial. Day after day, he sealed mixtures inside heavy steel vessels, turning knobs, watching gauges climb, listening to metal groan under stress. Inside those chambers, heat and pressure did something radical. They rearranged matter itself. At first, the results were useless. Brittle lumps, burned residues, dead ends. But Bakelin kept asking a dangerous question. What if a material could be made, not found? What if it could be molded once and never melt again? Then one day, the mixture hardened into something strange. Smooth, dark, solid. It didn't soften when reheated. It didn't dissolve. It held its shape like it had chosen permanence. This was Bakelite. And in that moment, humanity crossed a quiet threshold. Bakelite could be shaped into anything. Radio casings, light switches, telephones, then locked forever into form. It insulated electricity. It resisted heat. It could be mass-produced. Suddenly, machines weren't limited by what the Earth could provide. They were powered by what the human mind could invent. Factories hummed. Radios entered living rooms. Modern life took on a new texture. Hard, glossy, durable. Invisible to most, but everywhere. This single invention didn't just solve a problem. It rewrote the rules of materials. And here's the twist. Bikeland didn't set out to change the planet. He wanted control, control over chaos, over chemistry, over the unpredictable behavior of nature. What he created instead was the first synthetic plastic and the opening chapter of a material age that still shapes our world today. From medical devices to spacecraft, from convenience to consequence. That moment in a Yonkers lab echoes forward. A reminder that the smallest experiments can cast the longest shadows. If this story made you see the everyday world a little differently, Take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. And tell us in the comments, what invention do you think quietly changed your life the most?